हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉप ट्वेंटी फार्मा क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फॉर फ्रेशर्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर जॉब फॉर क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री देन यू मस्ट नो द आंसर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज व्हाट इज क्वालिटी कंट्रोल द आंसर इज द टर्म क्वालिटी कंट्रोल रेफर टू द सम ऑफ ऑल प्रोसीड्यूर्स अंडरटेकन टू एनश्योर द आइडेंटिटी एंड प्योरिटी ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट इट इन्वॉल्व्स इन केमिकल फिजिकल एंड समटाइम माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल टेस्टिंग ऑफ ए फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल इन्वॉल्व टेस्टिंग of the pharmaceutical products against the specification. Next is define pH. What is the pH of blood? The answer is pH is the negative logarithm of H plus concentration. The pH of the blood ranges from seven point three five to seven point four five. Next is explain what is triatosan the answer is triatosan is also called volumetric analysis it is a quantitative chemical analysis used to determine the concentration of an analyte that has been identified the triatator is a reagent that is prepared as a standard solution with a known concentration and volume the triatrant reacts with the analyte solution to determine the concentration of the analyte the triatosan volume is the amount of triton that reacts with the analyte next is how many types of triatosan the answer is there are basically four types of triatosan number 1 is acid based triatosan number 2 is complexometric triatosan number 3 is precipitation triatosan and number 4 is redox triatosan next is explain the four types of triatosans the answer is in acid based triatosan acidic or basic triton reacts with an analyte that is a base or an acid in complexometric triatosans involving metal ligand complexation reactions in precipitation triatosans when the analyte and triton react a precipitate is formed and in redox triatosans where the triton is oxidizing agent or reducing agent next is what is the hplc principle the answer is it's a technology used for separating the mixture of compounds into individual components based on absorption partition ion exchange and size exclusion principles the stationary phase and mobile phase are used in it hplc is used for the identification quantification and purification of components from a mixture next is what is ppm and percentage the answer is ppm is parts per million on the other end percentage means parts per 100 next is explain what is dextro rotatory and levo rotatory the answer is levo rotation and dextro rotation are referred to as the properties of the plane polarized light when light rotates clockwise when it approaches the observer then known as dextro rotatory and when light rotates anti clockwise then it's referred to as levo rotatory next is what is calibration the answer is the demonstration that a particular instrument 
or device produces results within specified limits by comparison with those produced by a traceable standard over an appropriate range of measurements. Next is what is chromatography? The answer is chromatography is an analytical technique commonly used for separating a mixture of chemical substances into its individual components so that the individual components can be thoroughly analyzed. Chromatography is a laboratory technique for the separation of a mixture. The mixture is dissolved in a fluid called the mobile phase, which carries it through a structure holding another material called the stationary phase. And the separation is based on the differential partitioning between the mobile and stationary phases. Next is HPLC pumps are how many types? The answer is there are three main types of HPLC pumps. Number one is reciprocating pump, number two is displacement pump and number three is pneumatic pump. Next is what is Carl Fischer Tritation? The answer is Carl Fischer Tritation is a classic Tritation method in chemical analysis that uses colorimetric or volumetric Tritation to determine trace amounts of water in a sample. It was invented in 1935 by the German chemist Carl Fischer. Next is what is disintegration test? The answer is it is the time required for the tablet or capsule to break into particles. The disintegration test is a measure of the time required under a given set of conditions for a group of tablets or capsules to disintegrate into particles. Disintegration is to be performed to determine whether the tablet or capsules disintegrate within the prescribed time when placed in a liquid medium at the experimental condition. Next is what is polarity? The answer is polarity is the electronegativity difference between the atom or molecules or the ability of an atom to attract shared electron in a covalent bond. Water is a good example of a polar molecule due to the differences in electronegativity between the oxygen atom and the hydrogen. Oxygen is a highly electronegative atom compared to hydrogen and fats, petrol and gasoline do not dissolve in water. They are classified as nonpolar molecules. Nonpolar means insoluble in water. Next is what is an indicator in chemistry? The answer is indicators are substances that show a change in color when brought in contact with acid or base. The most commonly used indicators are litmus, methyl orange and phenophthalein etc. Next is what is aqua regia? The answer is it is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and hydrochloric acid in the ratio of 1 is to 3. It is a highly corrosive liquid that can harm gold and other hardened materials. Next is what do you mean by solutions? The answer is a solution is a mixture of liquids, gases and solids. The solution consists of many different types of solutes like salts, oxygen and organic molecules. Next is what is the use of UV spectroscopy? The answer is spectroscopy can be used to detect functional groups and impurities and perform qualitative and quantitative analysis. Next is Describe 
the saturated and unsaturated solutions the answer is a saturated solution is defined as a solution in which a solvent is not capable of dissolving any more solute at a given temperature on the other hand an unsaturated solution is one in which the solvent is capable of dissolving any extra solute at a given temperature next is what is the difference between qualitative and quantitative analysis the answer is qualitative analysis involve the identification of the compound or chemical based on their chemical and physical properties example melting point and boiling point on the other end quantitative analysis involves estimation or determination of the concentration or amount of the chemical compounds or components